what actually determines success in the trucking industry? How is it defined? What makes you successful in the trucking industry? Is it owning your own truck? Is it leasing year after year so you have brand new equipment? Is it working for the same company as a company driver for 10, 20, 30 years so you can rake in that 401k or those retirement benefits? What does success mean to you? Let's take a look. Let's find out. Okay, guys. Oh, man, this is something that has really been burning at my soul as, as a driver, as a trainer, as a as somebody in the industry right now for my almost five plus years. Uh, May will be the start of my sixth year in the industry, six year prime. Um, and I was on the phone with a real good friend of mine the other day. He's a lease op with Schneider. And he said he was sitting down at the Country Pride restaurant at a TA somewhere. And he had a couple guys from the booth next to him. One guy, it's an older guy, you know, older guy, older driver. He looks over and he says, hey, you a driver? My buddy says, yeah, I'm a driver. He says, uh, who you drive for? He says, well, I'm a lease op for Schneider. He says, oh, don't tell me they talked you into that lease crap, that scam. And he says, well, nobody talked me into it. You know, I did my research, and that's what I wanted to do. He says, yeah, but I bet you drive one of them two-pedal automatic trucks, don't you? I said, yeah, it's a brand new truck. It's automatic. The guy looks at my buddy and he says, I'm done talking to you. Now listen. <laughs> my buddy was just flabbergasted. I mean, he just thought to himself, what was that all about? And why am I less of a person or less of a human being, less of a driver than this guy? Because I'm apparently leasing with Schneider and my truck's an automated manual. I don't have three pedals or a 10 foot tall shifter or a long nose peak with 5,000 chicken lights on it. You know, I've heard time and time again from these old school truckers, and if you're an old school trucker watching this, and this is you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. But I've heard time and time again, these old school truckers, they say, we know what the problem with the industry is. It's all these young people coming in. It's all these young people. These kids don't know nothing. It's this new generation. I'm going to give you credit. Okay? The new generation is a little messed up. Okay? But the new generation is trying to do the same thing that you were trying to do 40 years ago. They're trying to get into an industry where they can survive and thrive. Okay? Just because, and I'm going to backtrack a little bit, all right, not just the new generation, but I've also heard the problem with this industry is foreigners. I'm by no means racist at all, okay? And if you are racist, please unsubscribe from the channel. I don't need your subscription. I don't have time for it. But the thing about this is, the foreigners are exactly like the new generation. They're trying to survive and thrive with their family. That's what makes this country great, is everybody being able to be here and have that chance for the American dream, whatever that is now. Because obviously it's not a 
two bedroom, three bedroom house with a white picket fence, two kids, a dog, a wife. It's, it's not the American dream anymore. The American dream is whatever you make it. Okay. And all of this being said, these old school truckers come up to these, the younger generation or the newer drivers and they want to make them feel like inferior to whatever they've done in the trucking industry. You know, want to make them feel inferior because of the truck they drive or who they drive for or the program that they're in, leasing or, or, or lease purchase or whatever. It doesn't matter what company you drive for. What matters is what is your goal out here on this highway? What is your goal as a professional operator? What sets you apart from that driver in the cab next to you? What are you out here to accomplish? That's what matters. This video is, is a reminder to everybody that is coming into the industry. Do not get discouraged because an old timer walks up and he says, hey, you're driving for Swift. You're driving for CRST. Oh man, that company's garbage. That company's trash. Don't get discouraged, guys. Everybody started somewhere. And what that guy is not telling you is where he started. What that guy's not telling you is that that long nose Pete or that KW900 that he's driving, he hasn't had that forever. Okay? Just because you haven't had 20 years to work up and accomplish whatever you wanted to accomplish doesn't make you less of a driver. Doesn't make you less of a human being because you don't have a 10 foot tall super shifter or you don't have, you know, polished rims every single time you leave out of a parking lot or you don't. You're not that driver that won't crank his truck up unless it's $5 a mile. You know, I'm so sick of the stereotype. I mean, I really, I really am. You know, I cleared over $200,000 last year with Prime, 2021, through a pandemic to my bank, net pre-taxes, okay? I'm not going to go into numbers, but that's what's Prime with me not owning a truck. And there's going to be plenty of people in the comments I'm looking at you right now because I know you're typing. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. I don't have to prove anything to you. There's plenty of number of videos. You can go add them up. You can do whatever you want to do. Scroll through my channel. I appreciate the views. But that's with Prime without being an owner-operator. Does that mean I'm not successful because I didn't own my truck? Does it mean I'm not successful because I don't have a long nose 389 or a KW 900? No. My family is fed, okay? My bills are paid. And by the grace of God, I'm still out here on this highway. I'm healthy enough to be out here. Don't get discouraged by somebody else's view of success. You need to hone in and focus on what your view of success is. What makes you successful? What's going to make you happy? Use the industry to your advantage. Use Prime to your advantage. Use your company to advantage. Whoever you drive for. Let me give you a piece of advice. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and for, just flat out tell you, I don't know everything. All right? But I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Somebody comes up to you, and they're willing to judge you by the name that's on your door or by the type of truck that you drive, immediately turn around and walk away from that person because you do not need them in your life. There's nothing that that person can offer you. Okay? So many people go to make the leap into this industry. Me and my wife know because it took us two years to do it. We saved. We worked hard. We paid off bills to get into this industry. We went from making $1,500 a week together almost to making when I came into Prime was a $600 a week guarantee. I was bringing home $420 after taxes. We damn near starved to be here. Okay? I had so many people come up to me and tell me, man, don't work for that company. It's a scam. It's all scam. They don't care about their drivers. They don't care about anything. And I pushed through it. Prime showed me that they care. Is everything going to go the way I want all the time? Heck no. Of course not. 
you know, there's no perfect company on the face of this planet. You're not going to find a company that has every single thing go your way, every single thing you request. But that's not saying that there's not a perfect company for you. And it doesn't matter who it is. If it's not Prime, if it's CRST, if it's Trans Am, if it's you owning your own truck, getting your own DOT, your own MC number, do you. But don't let somebody else deter you from your goals, your, your plan for success. Success is not measured by a paint job. It's not measured by how much chrome you have on your truck. It's not measured by what your shifter looks like in your truck. It's not measured by how many pedals you have in your truck. Success is measured by your happiness and your ability to survive and thrive. What, what is your plan? That's what you need to know before you come into this industry. So to all of the old schoolers that think that the problem with the, the industry now is the younger generation or the foreigners or the guys that are driving the, the automated manuals, I got a message for you. With a mentality like that, you're the problem with the industry. You're the issue with the industry. You're the issue to all of these drivers that are out here trying to do something for themselves, provide for their families, pay their bills, be somebody in their eyes. For you to come up and, and just try to squash somebody's plan or their view of success because they're not doing exactly what you're doing, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Seriously. You know, the industry 20, 30 years ago used to be a brotherhood. Everybody looked out for everybody. Now, you can't even get somebody to move over out of a lane if you're broke down on the shoulder. It's 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 a travesty. I mean, it really is. It's terrible. Like, and for you drivers out there that have been in this industry for this long, and you could care less about another driver, please hang your keys up. That's not what this is about. That's not what should be preached to these new drivers, the newer generation of drivers that are coming in. That's not what any of this should be about. Guys, do the next right thing. Just because a driver is not doing exactly what you're doing, doesn't mean they're not successful in their own way. It doesn't matter if your company, your lease, you own your truck, you don't own your truck, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean if you're local, you're OTR, regional, who cares? If you're doing you, you're paying your bills and you're happy, who cares? Okay? Me and my wife have thought about leaving Prime so many times. Guys, so many times. The reason we don't leave Prime is because Prime fits our needs. It fits our wants. It fits our lifestyle. We love it here. That's the reason we're still here at Prime. You can talk to anybody that I know. Most of the people that I've trained aren't here at Prime anymore. And guess what? They're still successful doing what they want to do. A lot of my buddies aren't here at Prime anymore. And they're still successful at what they want to do. And a lot of my buddies are still here at Prime. And they're still successful at what they want to do. It doesn't matter what company you drive for. It doesn't matter if you drive for yourself, if you're an owner, operator, or anything. What matters is what you're getting out of the industry. No matter what, what part of the industry you're in. If you are happy, that's all that matters. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Just a little word of encouragement for you guys. I know I kind of rambled on because it kind of, it's really near and dear to my heart, this whole issue. Um, and just talking to my buddy the other day, I was just like, man, I got to do a video on this because this is, this is nuts. I mean, just, just, I've had so many times pull up into Fuel Island and one of these old timers get out of their long nose Pete's or KW900s or old school Max or a flat nose cab over. Come to you, oh man, you make a lot of money for Prime, don't you? I should hope so. I don't think I'd be here if I wasn't. Yeah, but I bet you're not making no money for yourself. Give me a few seconds, old timer. Let me set these pumps up. I'll show you something that changed your life. Guys, if it's your first time joining the channel, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to be 100% honest here. I am just a guy. I'm just a guy out here working hard for my family, my wife is out here with me. Um, we're very blessed to have everything that we have. We're very blessed with the opportunities we have here at Prime. Prime's not going to fit everybody, okay? It's just not. 
just like being an owner operator is not going to fit everybody just like working for crst or trans am or you know a local company it's not going to work for everybody hauling amazon freight's not going to work for everybody you know hauling a cargo container from ports not going to work for everybody being local won't work for everybody being otr won't work for everybody but guys we're very blessed to be in the position we're in and i wouldn't but to all of you that are coming into the industry thinking about coming into the industry get all your affairs in order do it don't let anybody stop you if you want to be here do it okay and you know i have tons to learn every single day i have tons to learn i never stop learning guys and always keep an open mind because the person that's sitting next to you could probably need your help way more than you'd ever need theirs and be there for them don't be that that person that comes and tries to shoot somebody's dreams down just because they're not doing the same thing you're doing. That's not the way we should be. You know, like I was saying before, if it's your first time joining the channel, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Shout out to every single one of you. 3,000 subs plus. You guys are amazing. And I just wanted to give you guys some love. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for this. I mean, I, I never thought this channel would get 100 subs, much less 3,000. So... Uh, I'm excited to keep it growing. I'm excited to keep dropping videos for you guys. Um, sorry about the rant. It was just a little bit uh, too much for me to contain. I had to get it out on video. Um, and I look forward to the next one. So please don't forget to like, sub, and share the channel. And guys, stay safe. Till the next one. God bless. Great Skater out.